John, welcome to my standoff. Ah. Yeah, we're going to be here for about 11 hours. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. The police have cordoned off the studio. Yeah. Yes, as you know, on Thursday, a big chunk of the city was shut down because there was a guy running around with a samurai sword. And you remember a little while ago, the city was shut down because a guy wrote bomb on a rusty old pickup truck. <laughs> and I was thinking that it was a really good thing that this new guy didn't write bomb on the sword. <laughs> uh, the, the city would probably still be shut down, you know? <laughs> Now, I want to say right off the bat that this is a man who had his share of problems, and that was unfortunate, but what was very interesting to me was the way that people reacted to it. Why didn't they shoot him? <laughs> well, yeah, a lot right here in this room. <laughs> they shouldn't have wasted all that time. They should have just shot him. Boy, you know, isn't Seattle a friendly town these days, you know? We recycle our bottles, we pick up litter, and we wave each other as we jog around Green Lake, but if someone's holding up traffic... <laughs> Not sure what that applause means, but I'll take it. That's right. Actually, I think the police did the right thing. No one got hurt, and you know, the standoff happened just a block away from the Seattle Art Museum, and they've put up a new exhibit to commemorate the day. I think we have a shot of that. Look at it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, that's right. From the hammering man to samurai man, you know. The police tried a lot of things to put an end to the standoff. It was obviously, it was right next to the market, so they tried pelting him with salmon. You know, those guys just throw the salmon and just filleted them in midair. It was like that. Phew. And as a matter of fact, when he gets out of jail, Benny Hanna has expressed interest. You know, so it's a good, like a work release thing. The police also brought the guitar guy over from the market, the guy who plays nothing, the guy who plays nothing but Dylan songs all day, you know, hoping that would calm him down. No effect. They even tried distracting him by yelling out, Hey, hail Bop! Look, you can see hail Bop! <laughs> but in the end, as you know, they finally subdued him with a hose and a ladder. So, I was thinking, instead of the police, we should have just sent in the firemen. <laughs> or maybe just a very aggressive team of gardeners. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really seem fair. The, the sword guy is in jail, Dennis Rodman, making millions of dollars. Just doesn't seem, <laughs> doesn't seem fair. Uh, other interesting news this week, our new governor, Gary Locke, had to battle bats that were flying around the governor's mansion, you know. No one believed Mike Lowry about the bats. You know, anyway, <laughs> we didn't believe Mike. But, uh, Yeah, Mike, bats, right, okay, anyway. And like the true Democrat that he is, Gary used a, a, a mop to shoo, he, shoo the bat out of the room. You know. Well, I'll tell you, if Ellen Craswell had got in there, that bat would, <laughs> that bat would have been his for him. Yeah. That was like a bat standoff is what he had. Anyway, it was, it was, as a matter of fact, the spookiest occurrence at the governor's mansion since the big werewolf scare a few years ago. But as you all remember, that just turned out to be a visit from Congressman Jim McDermott. <laughs> Well, it looks as though spring has finally come to Seattle, and that... Uh-oh. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 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 I forgot some... Okay, I, I'm supposed to be someplace else. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry I'm late. Come on. The patient's been given a spinal anesthetic. All right, great. Let's get that liver out. Liver? This is not a hepatic resection. This is an arthroscopic medial metastectomy with anterior cruciate ligament repair. Okay, wh whatever, whatever. Scalpel. No, scalpel. Is this a scalpel? Is it really? Is that a scalpel? Come on. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. It's the other leg. 
Oh, oh, his left. His left. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. All right. Let, let, let's go in again here. Let's go in. Ooh. I, just, I did the same leg, didn't I? I What's did the going same leg. Well, actually, actually tell, me, tell me about the other leg. I mean, is it really that bad? Because a lot of time, these things, they clear up, you know, if they just get off them for a while. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Let's go in again here. Let's go in again. What the hell is going on here? Uh, I'm sorry. I, would you stop? I was, well, you didn't give me the right scalpel. It's not my fault. You knew I'm a cop. Give, give me a clamp thing. Clamp it or do something. What's going on here? Well, I don't know. I was, you know, I mean, they asked me for help, and it's, you know, I'm a comic. I didn't know what. You know. John, uh, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm doing surgery. Yeah, well, we're in the middle of a show. All right, well, look, you guys, if you guys don't need me anymore, okay? Because I kind of got my main gig here, you know, so. Are you guys cool? All right, because if, if you don't need me, because I, I got to. All right, if you're cool. All right, all right. We need some tractors. This guy's about fishing. All right. Well, sorry, anyway, stay with us, won't you? We have a great show, and we'll be right back.